The concept of personality types has been fascinating psychologists for years. What is it exactly that makes us who we are? In this video, I'm going to make it really simple to understand. I'm going to break our personalities down into four main types. And by doing so, not only will you recognise your own dominant characteristics, but it will also help you to understand how other people tick and how to better manage our relationships in life. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -da. So let's talk about the four main personality types. Now, centuries ago, when psychologists first came up with the concept, these were named after the humours, which were choleric, sanguine, melancholic and phlegmatic. But these words don't mean very much to people these days. So let's give these modern terms. I'm going to call these four areas A, the director, B, the socialiser, C, the thinker and D, the supporter. So personality type A, the director. This is someone who likes to be in charge. They like to be in control. They're quick to make decisions. They're effective. They make things happen kind of people, likely to run business and be very good at it. And they're comfortable delegating to other people. So lots of strengths there, but with the weaknesses, these people can sometimes be very quick to anger, perhaps a little intimidating even, and not always very patient. They're not very naturally detail focused and definitely not in to soft, touchy, feely, emotional behaviour. The type A personality, the director, is motivated by success, by money, by wealth and getting the job done. So on to the type B personality, the socialiser. These people are fun to be around. They enjoy being the centre of attention, the party animal. They're fast paced, easy to like, spontaneous and generally seem very happy and comfortable with themselves on the surface. They're good relationship builders and often very charismatic. The weaknesses of this character type is they're not very good at being on their own. They have a short attention span and can often be ditzy. They are easily bored and prone to sweeping generalizations. Impulsive, but also inclined to procrastinate and generally people pleasers. They want to make other people like them. These people are motivated by recognition, the latest trends, being accepted and maybe a selfie with a celebrity or two. So moving on to our third personality type, and that is C, the thinker. These people are genius prone. Detail focused, scientific, often mathematical, also imaginative, law abiding and critical thinkers, often musical and particularly good at theory and that side of things. Accuracy, rationality and perfectionism. This personality type, the thinker, avoid hype at all costs and want everything to be evidence based and factual. And definitely a tendency to avoid the emotional. The downsides of this personality type are that they can appear critical or tactless and can seem a bit offhand or detached sometimes. They often see the glass as half empty, tending to err on the side of pessimism and looking at the worst case scenario. They are motivated by control, a desire to be independent and an opportunity to be analytical. They enjoy problem solving and precision. Which brings us to our fourth and final personality type, and that is D, the supporter. These people are generally very laid back. They're peaceful people. They like to take life at an easy pace. They enjoy routine and are comfortable with the status quo. They don't like rules to change and they like security. They're happy to conform. They're generally observant and philosophical, caring, compassionate, stable, calm, and always approachable. They're very trusting and reliable people. Perhaps the downside with this personality type is they can be slow to speak up. People sometimes take advantage of them. 
They're very good at procrastinating and putting things off. They will avoid confrontation at all cost. They tend to be unassertive and can be shy and definitely resistant to change. The supporter is motivated by stability, security, low risk, routine, and a sense of calm. So those are our four main types. A, the director, B, the socializer, C, the thinker, D, the supporter. And you may be thinking, ah, oh, but I'm, I'm a weird combination of all those things. Well, that's very normal because we all are. It's very rare for someone to be completely one thing. And it's equally rare for people to be an even combination of all four of those personality types, which of course would seem like the perfect balance. Most of us will have dominant characteristics that fall into maybe one or two of those personality types with a smattering of, of the other two coming in as well. That's very normal. But where this is helpful is not just in understanding how we ourselves tick, how you tick and what makes you who you are, but by understanding how other people function too and which personality traits make up the person they are, which enables us to react better to them, be more tolerant sometimes, be more patient, and also how to get the best out of other people by understanding their personality traits as well. Not everyone is like you. See you again soon.